In this video, we're going to take a look how to build out our top header navigation and our bottom footer. On our top header, we have our text logo and our CTA button that will take us to the login page. And our bottom footer, we have our text logo, middle text section, and finally, social icons. We're going to start by first modeling our header and footer data in our Strapi application. If we navigate to our content type builder, under single types, we see our homepage. Our homepage is responsible for our hero section and our, and our feature section. Let's create a designated single type to be responsible for our top header navigation and the footer. Click on create new single type and we're going to call it global. We're going to click continue and we're going to create a text field. We're going to leave it a short text and it's going to be title. We're gonna click add another field. We're gonna select text, make it long text. That's going to be description. And click finish and save. Now let's go ahead and create our header component. You could either do it inside the components section, creating a new component, but you could also do it here. So let's click add another field to the single type and we're going to select component. We're going to call it header and we're going to put it under the layout. And now let's go ahead and click configure the component. We will call it header. It's going to be a single component. Go ahead and click add first field to the component. Our first field is going to be a link and we previously created one. So let's go ahead, click on component. We're going to say use existing component and click select the component button. We're going to select our link and we're going to call this logo text. It's going to be a single component. Now let's go ahead and click add another field. Again, we're going to use our link component. We're going to click on it. Again, click on use existing component, select component. It's going to be our link component. Again, going to be a single component and we're going to call it CTA button. Now go ahead and click finish and save. Once everything is saved, you're going to see our global page and we now have our header component, which takes in our logo text and our CTA button, which is going to be responsible holding the data in our top navigation, our logo text and our CTA button. Now let's go ahead and see how we could represent our footer data in Strapi. So now let's go ahead and model the data for our footer. Inside our global single type, navigate to the bottom and click add another field to this type. We're going to select component and we're going to call it footer. Again, we're going to click on layout and click on configure the component. Here, we're going to give it a name footer and it's going to be a single component. So let's go ahead and add our first fields. So click add first field to component button and we're going to start with our logo text component. So here, click on use existing component. Let's select our link. And again, we're going to call it logo text and it's going to be a single component. Now let's go ahead and click add another field. This time we're going to select text because this is going to be our middle text in our navigation. So let's make it long text and we're going to call it text and click add another field. Finally, we're going to add our social link component. So navigate to component. So we're going to use existing component. Once again, we're going to select our link element. This time it's going to be a repeatable component and we're going to call it social link. Now let's click finish and review our footer before saving. So notice our footer takes in our logo text, then it takes regular text for our middle portion and then for our social links, we're going to have a repeatable component of links called social links. And this is going to correspond to our logo text, to our text in the middle, and our social links. Now that we have our components done, let's click save and navigate to your content manager and let's create our global page. And for title, I'm gonna say global page and is responsible for header and footer data. And now let's go ahead, add our header. 
for our logo text, we're going to link home and our text is going to be summarize AI. And we're going to keep is external false. Now we're going to add a CTA button and our CTA button is going to navigate to sign in. And for text, we're going to say sign in. And again, we're going to keep it false. So now let's go ahead, update our footer. Here, I'm going to add our logo text, which we know is going to be summarize AI. And the URL is going to be home. And for our text, I'm going to say made with love. And for our social links, we're going to add YouTube. And we're going to say YouTube is external true. Let's click add another entry. And we're going to add GitHub, GitHub, which is going to be external. And finally, let's go ahead and add Twitter or X, but I'm still going to call it Twitter. And again, for external, we're going to say true. Go ahead and click save and publish. Now that we have all of our global data for our header and footer, in order to be able to get it from our API, we want to go to settings under roles public for our global page, we want to give the find access. And here you could see the URL that we need to call to get our data. Don't forget to click save. And finally, we want to make sure that we're getting all of our data. So let's go back to our content type builder and take a look. Taking a look at our global page, we have our header component, which has our logo text, has our CTA button. We also have our footer, which has our logo text and our social link. We need to use our query builder to build a query that we could utilize. If you Google Strapi Query Builder, you'll find this interactive query builder that we have used before. We're going to go ahead and say that we want to find our API slash global page. And here we're going to write our populate logic. In the previous examples, we used nested object notation. But if your populate is straightforward, you can use this array notation, which basically says populate the header and populate the logo text. Populate the header, populate CTA button, the footer, and so on. If we take a look at our admin, we're saying header, populate the logo text, header, populate the CTA button, footer, populate logo text, and footer populate social link and we're using the dot notation. So now I'm gonna go ahead and copy this LHS syntax and let's test this API call in Insomnia. In Insomnia, I'm gonna paste that syntax, click send and notice now we're getting our global page, including our header section and our footer section. Now that we know that our API works, Let's go ahead and build our Next.js components in the next section.